a bit different today. Been hearing a bit, you know, from a few people who've got them. BSA Lightning, SE, the VRT, gas round technology. Quite a nice gun. I haven't shot it yet, but general build on it seems really nice. When you go to cock it, it's lovely and smooth. I haven't fully cocked it yet. Uh, beach stock, really nicely made. Lovely checkering on it. And the decal work on it, that's nice. I like the little BSA logo down here. It's got GRT on the stock there, both sides. Ambidextrous as well. Cheat combs, definitely ambidextrous. So the only thing that isn't really is the safety. It's on one side there, it's a lever that goes backwards and forwards, just below the scope there. So yeah, what can I say? Overall length. Uh, 95 centimetres or 37 and a half inches. Yeah, and the barrel, it's BSA, it's Cold Forge, made in England, it's all stamped up and everything. Uh, that is 37 centimetres or 14 and a half inches. So I've had people giving some really good scores on these, the GRTs. Uh, our secret long distance shooter right up north or the rig. He, uh, he's been able to go at one in two two. It's uh, 109 metres, but he's used to shooting sort of 100 metres ish regularly with different rifles. But yeah, they're out there in sub 12 foot pound. Although that being said, they are up at the high end, so I think it's a case of check what pellets you're using, check what power's coming out. So, because it does seem to be right up there on the power. So, even in the adverts at BSA, it says 807 feet per second in 177. That's what this is, 177. There was also one in 22 at my favourite shop. So, yeah, it's, uh, weighs three kilos, or just over six, six and a half pounds, 6.6 .6 pounds. Lovely to shoulder, nice perforated recoil pad. Like I say, it's got, it looks laser etched. Little BSA logo there. Uh, the reach from the pad to the center of there is 29 centimeters. So it's just a nuts under a foot or 12 inches. The trigger is quite sweet. You know, it's, it's got like little lines in it for a bit of grip so you can vary. It's bladed, but it's two stage and it's adjustable. You know, so you can work it to yourself. Like I said before, you got the safety lever there. Uh, this this one at the moment is got a four by 12 by 40 on it by hook, which tends to be one of my go-tos anyway. You know, the, uh, there is another model, the XLSE. Uh, you can get those in black. The stippling on them is different. It's more like pimples and there's a slightly different shape to the stock on it. And also it's a full barrel silence and shroud. Comes right the way down to the end of the stock. Does look nice. I've not managed to handle one or shoot one. But yeah, pretty straightforward gun. They do come with a uh, silence and they don't come with a scope. So uh, let's see how quiet it is. That's a smooth stroke. Now, what did I do with that? Then? Yeah, a little bit tight. It's different to a Springer. I'll just put this into my firing box. I suppose it's quieter than a normal Springer without a silencer on it. You, know, it's, you can tell it's a bit reduced. Normally go off with a hell of a crack. That seems a bit reduced, a bit quieter. I think it's more of a moderator, to be honest with you. But yes, yeah, a little bit of a tug initially there, but the actual stroke is lovely and smooth. Because uh, it's not a spring. It's a nitrogen gas ram. That's what the GRT is about, isn't it? The uh, gas ram technology. The idea being it's a two-way piston. When you cock it, it compresses nitrogen gas, locks in on the sear. When you pull the trigger, 
it releases that piston and keeps it consistent. You know, that's that's the thought behind it, I understand, or the engineering behind it. So I'll find out later on. You know, you do get inconsistencies with springers and what have you, but I've known people to get them with gas rams anyway. Not these, but another brand, let's say, uh, along similar lines that are a well-known brand. You know, but it's a bit of strange noise coming out of them when, they, when they're all set up with the cheek on the cheek comp and they're hearing strange noises that can't put up with them, what have you. There's all sorts goes on with different guns, but yeah, you don't hear any spring ratcheting, any noises when you're cocking it. It's fairly smooth, the actual movement of it, the mechanism. So, yeah, it seems nice. I have to uh, get it out on the range in a minute, if I can. The steel trigger guard, that seems sturdy enough. I wouldn't be worried about dropping it, I don't think, in the field. So I think it has got potential, because I'm sure you'd be able to change this setup here and put something quieter on there. So, yeah, get it on the 20 yarder. See you in a bit. Cheers. Hello again. BSA Lightning AC, GRT, the gas ram technology. That uh, being zero in it, oh, it's got a little bit more of a recoil than I expected. It's, uh, I were hoping it to be a nice halfway house towards a PCP, but it not being sprung. Still, let's see how we get on. Using the BSA Gold Stars 8.64, tried the QYS, they weren't as good. Tried the 10.34 JSP heavies, the exact. Didn't really enjoy them. So I thought, I've got some gold stars, I'll try them. Yeah, he seems to like them. And then it is a BSA. Let's go for the centre. I'm see if it's going to group like in the wind, because it is a windy one today. I were hoping it would have died down. Here we go. Not the world's greatest brake barrel shooter. I'm sure I'll start getting behind. Wind doesn't help, but there you go. Centre again. There we go. It's a fair old pull. Smooth. You don't hear any springs wrinkling up or chattering or anything, so yeah, it's nice in that sense. I actually find it easy to use the other arm as well because I've got a dicky shoulder. But we'll get there. <coughs> Centre again. Took me by surprise. I haven't done any adjustment on the trigger. It's as is, as you get it, just a scope put on it. Go off the top right. Must admit, I'm enjoying shooting it. It's uh, Feels like it hits me a fair old impact up there. It's all right. Still top right. Yeah, no chronograph today, I haven't got my spare phone. Oh, only 20 yards, but it is windy. Very top right. Six. Didn't go for the top left. It's 
Excuse the noise. Bill is in the neighbours. Top left. So it's got a bit of a kick to it, mind. It'll take a little bit of getting used to. Top left still. And you can't decock these either, not like a springer. But no decocking available. Have to keep the safety up. Top left again. Are we expecting to use a heavier pellet? But it seems real happy with these. Let's go for the bottom left. Miles out. Bottom left still. It seems to be jumping all right. I might have clipped that one, I'm not sure. Still on the bottom left. Well, the 50mm splats with the 20mm circle and the 8mm bull. So you're definitely hitting rats and squirrels and whatever at 20 yards without issues by the looks. Still bottom left. Yeah. Let's have a final few shots at the bottom right. I'm enjoying it. It is a lot of fun. It's a different shoot to a Springer. There you go. I'm really enjoying it, this. Oh, that would be snatching. in my eyes as well. Bottom right. I like it. <coughs> I think I'm starting to get my eye in with this now. Gonna have to get some practice in. Try it a little bit further out I think. It's nice to shoot though. Very nice to shoot. I'll be quite happy to go past him with it. Probably in two, two though. Yeah. Takes a little bit of getting used to like any gun. I think it's one of those the more you shoot it, the better you'll get and I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Plinking, target shooting or hunting, still bottom right. I'll go for a number. One on the right. Oh, that's a great battle. Wonder if I can get one of the thumb tags. Instead of 10 mil. Shot. Uh, top left up ball. Oh, well, I think with a little bit more zeroing, a little bit more practice is going to be pretty much astounding. This little gun, I'm quite impressed. There's still a bit of recoil with them though, that's why they got the recoil rail on them. And if I'm honest with you, 
this is the second time I've shot because this slid off. It would knack it, I hadn't timed it up enough, but there you go, that's what it was. And yeah, very happy with that. Cheers. See you soon.